Hey everyone, and welcome back to Tala's Cosplay Vlog. I am Tala, and today, or tonight, we're going to be talking about zombies. So, I'm a quite a big fan of the Resident Evil video game series, and they've conditioned me greatly to shoot zombies and infected in the face or other places that they are weakened because some of the infectees are... yeah, anyways. Anyways. I recently went to go see the newest Resident Evil movie, uh, Retribution, and it was kind of dumb. The animated movies are much better, I think, but I haven't seen the second one, so I can't give a review about that, but the first animated movie was quite good, so I'll put a link down to those two below for like the trailers, just so you guys can check them out um, if you haven't seen them. And so, the movie that I wanted to go see was meh because they just kind of put characters in there for, you know, fan-pleasingness. And, like, the actors themselves looked good, but they had very eh acting. And I've never really been a huge fan of Alice, like, I never understood why they didn't just make a Resident Evil game with the Resident Evil characters to begin with. But that's, like, I understand, it's a movie, it's going to do its own story thing, blah blah blah. But just never really been a huge fan of the live action movies. Um, and plus I have a little bit of a, like, gamer rage for, in one of the scenes, spoilerishness coming up here. Um, in one of the scenes, uh, Jill is in that, like, Resident Evil 5 costume with that thing on her chest that you have to rip out in the fifth game. And it takes forever to do that! And in the movie, it's super easy, and I think that's stupid. Like, if you're going to have something implanted into someone, it should be hard to remove. Just saying. Okay, now that the Resident Evil movie rant is over, let's talk about zombie costumes. Since Halloween's coming up and there's going to be a zombie walk in my hometown next Saturday, I might bring you guys along, or I might not, because I uh, don't really like to bring electronics with me because it just ruins the zombie effect. And I generally put makeup on my hands to keep with you know, the dead skin thing, and bl fake blood and stuff, and I really don't want to get you guys dirty. Because I like this camera how it is. <laughs> Clean. Um, so, just things to think about for your costumes. I've stated this in previous video, which I will link down below, my zombie walk video, and I believe it has my zombie costume um, at the end of the video, and um, it just kind of gives you ideas on things to think about for your zombie costume or zombie hunter costume. Um, so I don't really know what else I really need to say other than um, thank you all for subscribing to me. I'm sorry that I'm not really uploading a lot of videos, um, but stick with me. I will be uploading videos once the craziness of my schooling is pretty much over with. Uh, so yeah, so ugh, brain needs to work now. Um, if you are interested in some tips in the zombie nest thing, I just say think of what you'd be doing when the zombies happened. Like if you're at a soccer game and you're running around, you probably, you know, you get bitten on the soccer field, you're in your soccer gear, and you probably will have a cleat to the face because you're trying to bite t a teammate and they stab you in the face, you know? Like, you just gotta think of, if this happened to me, what would be the realistic response of my people around me, and how would I try to defend myself, because that can also lead to, like, where you would get bitten? Like, if you're defending, like, your front so much and you didn't look behind you, you might get, like, more of a bite back here. Opposed to, like, you were driving a car 
and a zombie popped out from the back seat like in all the random scary movies. Maybe not a zombie, but you know, the evil guy pops out of the back seat and bites you. Like it could be like you're driving like this and he bites you on your arm and then you oops it is and then you like crash into a telephone pole and it catches on fire and glass explodes and see if glass shards and burnt flesh and zombie flesh and horrible gross things. I like Halloween. <laughs> um, if you are going to a zombie walk or any sort of thing like that, you have to make sure that cops know that any sort of prop you might bring is a prop and not to get in trouble. Also that being said, don't be a douche and like put fake blood all over like the store windows and cars and stuff. That's not cool and that's not what we're there. We're there just to be goofy and show our love for the undead, not in the creepy way, and have a good time. Show off our skills at special effects makeup or what have you. Um, I personally love doing special effects makeup. I be, I'm still quite a beginner. I am kind of just teach myself things until I can be able to go to school for that. Um, so yeah, uh, links also down below. The zombie video I'm going to link to has links within that description of tutorials and stuff I found useful or interesting while making that zombie makeup. So we'll see what this year brings. I will at least have some pictures for you. Anyways, thanks to for listening to my crazy long ramble, and uh, see you guys later.